How you doing? My name is Eric Francis and this is Color Harmony. When you come here you get tutorials and we talk about art related subjects. Our subject today will be realism. We begin by making an underpainting with umber diluted in water. We wash it in and we're ready to start. Let's go. I like to begin each painting by making a sketch. What I'm trying to do is make the shift over to right brain thinking. You don't use right brain thinking normally, a lot anyway, during the course of your normal day. This is the perfect opportunity to take some time and shift your brain over to the way of the artist. It makes painting a whole lot easier. Now the sketches I do can take anywhere from two minutes to several hours. It's, it's whatever I have to do to make the shift over. Sometimes it's drawing, sometimes it's painting. If you're just beginning to paint, I suggest you uh, paint simple objects to warm up. It could be a pen, a pencil, or any kind of basic shape. Or what you can really do to get comfortable holding a paintbrush to write your name. Uh, that's one of the original drawings that you learned to do when you were younger. And when you're comfortable enough to hold the paintbrush to write your name easily, then you'll be comfortable enough to paint realistically. It's very important that you spend about half your time looking at your reference photo or whatever you're painting from life. What tends to happen is you bend your head and you just start working and working and working and by the time you come up and look at the thing, it doesn't seem to look much like it. So you have to kind of get yourself away from doing that. Keep yourself at a certain distance, you know, so where you can see both things. So you can always just take a quick look, you know. Your eyes are basically jumping back and forth. I like to paint on an easel or a drafting table. I do that because uh, you get to see it from the same perspective that everybody else is going to see it from. If you're painting on a flat surface, that's not how people are going to see it. If you're doing that, every once in a while, just prop it up and take a look at it. Just to see, you know? Nothing throws me off more than when I pull a painting up to look at it. It looks a little bit different than it did when it was laying flat because the lighting is different and it's just different. There, there have been painters who, uh, before they finish the painting, they actually bring it to their shows, they get it hung, and then they finish the painting there. Because they want to get a look at the lighting in the room, and they want people to see their work in a certain kind of way. I usually work from photographs. What I've been doing recently is uh, scanning the work like while I'm still doing it and getting a side-by-side -side comparison to the reference. It helps a lot. I use Picasso. It came with a computer, but you can easily download it. Just Google it. to the end of another painting you like what you see if you do and you want to help support this content do me a favor comment like share or subscribe and if you want to show further support donate there's a link in the description to my blog and on my blog you'll find a donate button that'll take you to PayPal 
videos are made in response to questions I get asked all the time. So feel free to ask, and the answer might appear in a video. Peace till next time.